Welcome to the Google SketchUp tutorial where we're going to draw the iPhone holder. Now the first thing we need to do when we open SketchUp is to make sure we've got the correct template. So we click on Choose Template and for this drawing we'll need to find product design and woodworking in millimetres. And then we click on Start using SketchUp. The first thing we'll do is once SketchUp opens is we'll run through a couple of the tools that we need from the toolbar menu across the top. So you can see that we've got the select button, the line drawer, rectangle, circle, arc, over to eraser, tape measure, paint bucket, push and pull tool for extruding, move, rotate, offset, and then we've got our view controls. Orbit, pan, zoom, and zoom extends to zoom in as far as we can, but without cutting off any of the drawing that we want to see. These lines here in the middle of our drawing, they are our axis. So red goes from left to right, green goes from front to back, and then the blue line goes from top to bottom. The origin where we'll start drawing is in the middle, where they all intersect. So firstly, I'm going to change my views. I want to look at the drawing um, in parallel projection. I don't want it to be in perspective where it disappears away to a central point in the background. So I go up to camera, and then I go to parallel projection. And now I want to look straight down on the top. Camera, standard views, and looking down from the top. You'll now notice that we don't see the blue line that goes from top to bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the rectangle draw tool to draw what will be the base of our iPhone holder. So I'm going to select rectangle. I'm going to click on the um, origin, the middle of the axis points. I'll click once and drag out. Now I can type in some custom um, custom dimensions. So I'm going to type 120 millimeters, comma three millimeters. I want my rectangle to be 120 millimeters long, three millimeters high. When I've entered those numbers, which you'll see down in the bottom right hand corner, press enter. So you see down here our dimensions are. Now you notice we can't see anything. That's because we've drawn something very small, but we're looking at it from a long way away. So we need to click on the Zoom Extents button, which will zoom in all the way, and there's our rectangle. We need to draw the next part of our iPhone holder, which will be the front. So we're going to zoom out a little bit so we can see a bit more of the drawing, just by using the roller button if you're using a mouse. We're going to draw another rectangle now, anywhere on the screen up above. And I'm going to type in 30, comma, 3 and press enter. That'll give me the front piece. The problem is now is we're going to need to rotate it. So first I'm going to click on the select tool and triple click. Triple click the rectangle so it, it's fully blue. It's got dots in the middle and all the lines are blue as well. So now I'm going to click on the rotate tool going to click on the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to drag the line out so there's a dotted line to the um, off to the right that's red the same as the axis going to click rotate it up a bit but I'm going to type in 60 and press enter that'll give me 60 degrees now I'm going to get the move tool I'm going to click on the other corner on the left hand side, not the one that I rotated on, the opposite one. I'm going to click that endpoint, I'm going to drag and sit it on the endpoint of my base. So you'll see it overlaps a bit, but what we'll do is we'll deal with that later. So now we'll zoom back out so I can see the rest. So now I'm going to build the plat draw the platform that the phone sits on. This one once again, like before, is a rectangle. 
20 millimeters long, 3 millimeters high. Press enter. So I need to rotate that as well. Triple click it. And I'm going to use the rotate tool. I'm going to rotate it from the top left hand endpoint. Click, drag out, click again. This time I'm going to rotate it down 30 degrees. Typing in 30, press enter. This time I want to move the drawing from the same point that I rotated from. So the, the one that's left on the top. And now I'm going to move it in and sit it over the highest point of the front piece there. So you can see that we're starting to build up our, our phone holder. I'll zoom out a little bit more this time. Now to draw the final part, which is another rectangle. Click, drag out, 20, comma, 3, and press enter. Now what I'm going to do this time is, I might need to zoom out a bit more, highlight it, make sure it's all selected. I get my rotate tool. I'm going to go top left hand side this time. Click, drag out, rotate it, and I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees. That way it's parallel with the front piece. Select my move button. I'll get the lowest point the lowest corner of the back piece, zoom out, zoom back in, and we're going to stick it on that endpoint piece there. So now we've got, looking from the top, rem remembering that we've drawn it on its side, you can see the profile of the iPhone holder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom in, and we're going to use our eraser tool, to erase any of these overlapping lines that we produced when we overlapped our rectangles. This leaves us now with one solid piece. Now that's done, we're going to use our orbit tool to click and drag and rotate it around. And so now we can see it lying on its edge. We're going to extrude that shape now, so we're going to turn a 2D shape into 3D. Click on the push-pull tool, highlight the edge when it's all dotted, and drag it up, and drag it to any side, or we can push it down. If I want to drag it up, hit 65 millimeters and press enter. This little warning is saying that it can't save my file, but that's okay, I'll save it at the end. What we're going to do now is, we can now look at it, we can go camera, standard views, and look at it from the left. Camera, standard views, we can look back at it from the top. But I think what we might try and do is, we might look at it from this angle here, which is the left. Camera, standard views, left. We're going to Triple click to select it all. Get a rotate tool. Select the bottom right hand corner. Draw a line straight up so we can't see because it's on the blue line. Click once. We're going to roll it over till it gets to 90 degrees and click again. Or you can press enter like we did before. We'll change the view now. Camera. Standard views and let's try isometric ISO. There we go. And hit zoom extents. We've now got our 3D model of a simple iPhone holder. One of the things we can do now is we can dress it up. We can paint it. So I'm going to triple click it to select it all. Find my paint bucket. The paint bucket will allow me to turn my white object into a color. So I'm going to select color, scroll down until I find a nice color, I might go with a nice bright blue. Now because I've triple clicked and selected all of my iPhone holder, I can click on it and paint it all blue. Now because it's such a dark color, that's pretty hard to see all the shapes, so I might try a lighter color blue.
and that's a bit better now. I can see the outlines, it doesn't clash as much. So there's the finish holder. Another thing I can do to dress it up a bit is I can put my name on the front. I can go tools, 3D text, a menu optional pump up. I can type my text, my name, find a font that I like. Now I'll set the height at 20, so it's slightly smaller than the piece on the front. And I'll make it extrude 3, which is the thickness of our holder. Click place. Now as you can see, that's much larger than my iPhone holder. So while it's selected like that, I can press S, which is for scale. And I can shrink it down until... I've got a size that fits. Click on select, click move, and I can move it onto the front there just like that. There's my name on the front of the holder, I can paint that as well. Now the other thing I could do is, because we're modeling a iPhone holder that we could make from acrylic, we could round the corners so they're not so sharp as well. I'm going to zoom in so I can see them. Now I've selected the arc tool. I'm just going to pick an edge close to opposite this corner here. Same again. I'm going to draw some simple arcs by clicking on one side, clicking on the other and sliding it out. So it's at tangents. And what I can do now is by rotating, I can get my push pull tool. Instead of adding material, I can take it away. Just like that and give it a nice rounded edge. Lastly, I'll do this one down here. Mark tool again. Click on one point. Click on the other, draw it out so it's a tangent, rotate it so I can see it, and remove it with a push pull tool. Camera, standard views, ISO, and zoom extents. And that's finished. So don't forget to save it. We'll call it. iPhone holder. Now the final thing I can do is I can actually find an iPhone to put on top of it using the SketchUp warehouse. So I click on the Get Models logo up here, which will load the warehouse. This allows me to search for drawings that other people have done. Now because I've drawn my iPhone holder to scale, Hopefully someone else has drawn an iPhone to scale that I can very easily put on put on my, um, my drawing. Okay, so this one here looks pretty good. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, that looks all right. So when we found one that we like, we click Download Model. Yes, I want to load it directly into my drawing. Download it goes. Now... I'm going to put this down over to the side somewhere. Now you can see that it's not in the same position where I want it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my drawing. I think I'll look at it from the top. Camera, standard views from the top. Now I'm going to turn it so it's in the same direction as my iPhone holder. So in the middle, click. I'm going to drag it out and then spin it around 90 degrees like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the same angle as the holder. So I'll go camera, standard views, and to the right. No, that's not what I want. Let's try from the front. Camera, standard views. Actually, let's go from the back. There we go.
So now I can click on not the very end because it's not green anymore. That's because it's got a curved edge. I'll go just towards the edge. Here we go. Drag it out. Drag it around. Type in 60. And now that's on the same angle. So now what I can do is I can pick up my iPhone. And I can then just by rotating the views find a suitable spot for it whoops not there there we go we'll try this one again that's going over to the back so I'll try again there we go out of that sitting out a bit so we might move it back a little bit as well there we go Oh, it's off to the side. Camera, standard views, isometric. There you can see we've got our iPhone holder finished with our name on it, some nice rounded edges, and complete with the iPhone. View, we'll remove the uh, axis so you can see it. There we go, finished. Don't forget to save it. File, save. We hope you enjoyed drawing the iPhone holder.